The strange woman screamed at the top of her voice, saying that if the truth is not revealed to the king, the king will die. She revealed that the enemy was closer than they thought and had to be exposed for the king to leave. Once upon a time, there lived a very sick king who had been sick for so many years. His name was Ikenga and he was greatly loved by his people. Over the years, the royal family had done everything within their power to find out what was wrong with the king, but all efforts proved futile as no one could determine what exactly was wrong with the king. One day, the king's uncle, Mazin Zeribe, who was the next in line to the throne, held a meeting with the elders of the village to propose that a new king be crowned as the kingdom could no longer thrive with a sick king. He cited the fact that investors were not willing to invest in their kingdom due to the fact that their king was sick and that if nothing was done, their kingdom might no longer thrive without investment. Everyone looked at themselves as they wondered if that was the right decision to make, especially as their king was still very much alive. According to the tradition of their land, a new king can only ascend the throne on the death of the current king. Mazi Amechi, who was the oldest and most respectful elder in the cabinet, stood up and said, that no king would ever ascend the throne until after the death of King Ikenga and all the other elders agreed with him as they all dispersed to their respective homes. Mazin Zeribe was not so happy about their decision as he yearned to be king so badly. The king's personal maid, Olamma, however heard about the meeting and informed the king of his uncle's decision to ascend the throne. She advised the king to get a bride and have a child who would be the heir apparent to his throne. The king's wife died a few years ago without a child and since the king was sick, he never thought about remarrying. However, on hearing his uncle's plot to take over the throne, the king bought into Olamma's advice and decided to get married. One evening, whilst Olamma was feeding the king his dinner, he spoke up, asking her to be his bride. The king believed Olamma would make a good queen, especially seeing how well she had treated him as his personal maid. Olamma was shocked as she never saw this coming. She stammered as she tried to find the right answer to give the king. The king pleaded with Olamma to marry him and save the throne as there was no other woman he trusted with his life. He promised to ensure that Olamma was well taken care of as queen and Olamma, after careful consideration, agreed to be the king's bride. The king, although weak, sent out his guards to announce to the village that he was taking on a new bride. A small ceremony was then held to join the sick king and Olamma, making her the new queen of the village. The entire palace was amazed to see Olamma reigning over them as their queen. However, the king's uncle, Mazin Zeribe, seemed not to like the fact that the king had taken on a new wife. He was so distressed because the king's marriage to Olamma posed a threat to his chances of becoming the next king of the village. After several months, Olamma got pregnant with child. King Ikenga was so excited to hear about his wife's pregnancy. He placed Queen Olamma on bed rest as he could not risk any harm coming to the queen or the unborn baby. The news of a potential heir brought joy to the kingdom and the people eagerly anticipated the birth of the royal child. As the months passed, Olamma's pregnancy progressed smoothly. The entire kingdom was adorned with festive decorations in preparation for the arrival of the heir. One night, the entire palace was awoken by a very loud scream coming from the queen's chamber. Queen Olamma had lost her pregnancy and the news of this brought sadness to the king. The whole palace was thrown into a state of mourning 
as the anticipation for an heir shattered by the heartbreaking loss of the unborn child. Queen Olama, devastated by the tragedy, wept for her unborn baby. She locked herself up in her room, refusing to see anyone in the palace. King Ikenga, on the other hand, was engulfed in sorrow as he grieved the loss of his child and wondered why life dealt him such a cruel blow. His health further deteriorated due to the emotional toll of the loss and the people of the kingdom witnessing their beloved king's suffering felt a collective sense of despair one morning this was a few weeks later a strange looking woman approached the gates of the palace insisting on seeing the king no one had ever seen the woman before and they wondered who she was and where she had come from the strange woman screamed at the top of her voice saying that if the truth is not revealed to the king the king will die she revealed that the enemy was closer than they thought and had to be exposed for the king to leave everyone was confused as they wondered what the strange woman was talking about mazin zeribe on hearing what the strange woman had said ordered that she be taken away when a guard approached them saying that the king had ordered to see the strange woman the strange woman was then ushered to the king's chamber as she stood before the weak and sick king immediately she set her eyes on the king she spoke aloud saying that the king was gradually leaving the earth as his ancestors were encamped around him waiting for his spirit to depart queen olama still in mourning was notified of the strange woman's presence in the king's chamber and what she had said about her husband the king and olama rushed into the king's chamber to see the king she arrived the chamber and caught sight of the strange woman who looked at her sternly rebuking her from approaching the king the king looked in confusion as the woman revealed to him that olama was behind all that had been happening to him she also revealed that olama was never pregnant but pretended to be pregnant so as to help her actualize her evil plans Olama knew how painful the death of a child was and decided to hurt the king deeply with such a sad news of losing an heir because she knew how important it was to the king. King Ikenga stared blankly at Olama as he found it difficult to believe what the strange woman was saying. He demanded some evidence to support such accusations and the strange woman began to mumble some words underneath her breath as Olama fell to the ground saying that she would confess olama revealed that she was behind the king's strange illness she planned on killing the king however she did not want the king to have an easy death as her plan was to watch him suffer slowly for years before finally ending his life olama ensured that she gained the king's trust by framing the king's former maid of stealing and this led the king to sack his maid replacing her with Olama, who became the only person the king trusted with his life. Olama then began to poison the king's meals, and this gradually made him sick. No one was able to detect her evil plans, because Olama involved a very powerful juju man, who did some incantations that prevented anyone from detecting her plans. The king, shocked at what he was hearing, could not believe that the only person who he trusted with his life was the same person who made him sick for years he asked olama why she had put him through so much pain and olama revealed that before her father died she overheard a conversation between her father and the king where the king threatened to kill her father that same night olama's father drowned in the river and olama blamed the king for her father's death consumed by hatred and a desire for revenge olama vowed to make the king suffer for the death of her father however what olama did not know was that her father was caught plotting with the king's evil uncle mazin zeribe to kill the king and take over the throne when the king found out about their plans he confronted olama's father threatening to kill him if he ever attempted to harm the king or the kingdom filled with guilt 
Olama's father drowned himself in the village river, and Olama, not knowing all these, exerted revenge on the innocent king, which almost claimed his life. The strange woman then spoke up, revealing that she was a seer who had the ability to see into the past and present. She had been guided by the spirits to expose the truth and save the king from an unjust fate. Realizing the gravity of her actions and the depth of her father's betrayal, Olama fell to her knees begging the king for forgiveness. The king, sensing the remorse in her apology, forgave her but ordered that she be banished from the village to live far away from their kingdom. Immediately Olama left the kingdom, the king's health began to improve and not long afterwards, the king fully recovered from his prolonged illness and the people rejoiced as the dark clouds which loomed over their kingdom dissipated. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should not be quick to jump into conclusions as we might just make grave mistakes. Always learn to forgive as forgiveness unburdens our hearts and keeps us from making terrible decisions. Finally, do not repay evil with evil because two wrongs they say can never make a right. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.